everybody. Thanks for joining me for um, our forecast uh, for May 9th. This is the May forecast challenge. We're uh, trying to do a forecast every night uh, for the month of May so that I can help raise money for the Neighbors Pantry in Londonderry, Vermont, where I've been a volunteer for uh, the better part of 10 years. Um, and so if you want to help out with that, any money I take in as a patron, you can join, you can become a patron of mine through my website. Um, there's a link down below um, and uh, you can join uh, as up as a patron and uh, any money I take in during the month of May will go to the food pantry. And if you want to continue after that this month um, and you enjoy the content I create, I appreciate that. Um, you can uh, that'll go towards uh, improving my equipment and help me do a few more of these videos. So uh, we're here for the weather though. So um, today was, well, today was today. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about why you can get a forecast right and wrong at the same time, right? Um, forecast was basically right on the money for everything east of the Green Mountains uh, and kind of in the central part of the Green Mountains here had uh, about almost two inches of snow at my house. A lot of places around here had three to four, maybe a little bit more snow than I think I was expecting, but pretty darn close here. Uh, but if you went west of the mountains, there was some real, there was a band of heavier snow and some uh, upslope uh, effect that happened uh, in the Shaftesbury, Arlington area where they got significantly more snow than uh, I was expecting, uh, and I'm sure than they were expecting. Um, so, you know, uh, one of those days. Uh, it was cold today. We had a high of 43 um, with some peaks of sun. That is hard to do um, on May 9th. Low temperature this morning was 29. When I woke up this morning, it was 29 degrees out, and it was snowing, and the snow was not even heavy and wet. The last about half inch of snow I got was powdery. Uh, we got about uh, mostly rain before midnight last night. I changed to snow about 11 o'clock last night. Um, we got uh, about a five hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday, uh, and then uh, today's snow equivalent was about 0.16 inches. Um, I got lots of pictures today. Thank you so much for everybody for sending your pictures in. Uh, this one didn't make the slideshow because I got it a little too late, but thank you, Jason Elplin, uh, for the picture. Uh, obviously doing some hiking uh, today. Must have been an interesting hike. Uh, let's take a quick look at local radar here. Um, I'm going to get out of the way. As you can see, our storm is wrapped up and way off um, right now, given a well, kind of a blizzard to eastern Maine. Thankfully, uh, we didn't get it quite that bad. But um, you can see uh, the upper level, there's a lot of upper level energy and a lot of pop-up clouds. And so what you've got here is um, every once in a while, one of these will uh, pop through and actually ha just happened here where I am about a half an hour ago. And <laughs> the winds must have gusted to about 35 miles an hour. And it briefly, we almost had whiteout conditions and then they go away. Some of these, especially coming off the lake here, are particularly strong. Um, these are going to die out um, in the heating of the day this afternoon. So they're not really anything, or this evening, not really anything to worry about. Just uh, kind of a dying end of our storm probably should be some of the last snow we man I hope this is some of the last snow we see all year let's look at the big uh, satellite imagery because that kind of will give us an idea of where our next system is going to come from this system here which is really impressive on the uh, on the satellite feed um, is going to be heading our way for Monday it will give us some showers it doesn't look to have a lot of moisture associated with it you can kind of see it's mostly cut off um, from the Gulf of Mexico uh, and we're cold here um, we're not gonna be quite enough cold enough with this storm uh, to be snow with this storm but uh, um, and you can also see we continue to have our big ridge out west um, but there is this trough we're kind of rotating things through um, slowly it's going to kick out east of us and we are finally going to get into um, some more reasonable weather. I want to take a quick look at those uh, local um, satellite. You can just see those, how we're in and out of the, you know, it can get cloudy and be snowing one minute and the next minute we can be into the sun. Uh, pretty interesting weather for the day. I want to take a quick look at the week ahead. Um, so much more tranquil weather coming up, thankfully. Uh, we're looking at sun and clouds tomorrow. It's going to be cold, basically, the first uh, part of this forecast. Uh, temps in the low 40s, maybe we'll make mid 40s tomorrow. Uh, lows in the upper 20s, maybe even mid 20s. It's still going to be breezy. You're going to need a jacket and a hat. It's going to feel like today, feel like mid-March. Uh, Monday, uh, we're getting, a, it's a little better on Monday, although it's cloudy. We have a few chances of showers. That storm that was over the central part of the country is going to be moving over the top of us. Uh, temps probably in the mid forties. The breeze will be down. You're probably still going to need a jacket. Tuesday, things do finally start to really improve. Um, again, we start off chilly, still lows in the upper twenties, uh, that morning, but probably getting up to near 50 and, uh, breezy, but not 
too breezy. Um, Wednesday uh, and Thursday, we really start to improve. Mostly sunny on Wednesday, highs in the mid-50s. Thursday, we, may, we probably make 60, maybe 65. Um, we do have some afternoon clouds moving through as Thursday into Friday we'll have our next storm. But our next storm is really going to usher in the warm air. Uh, Friday, we're looking at mostly cloudy with a shower or a thunderstorm highs in the mid-60s. Saturday, we finally see a 7 in front of that number. I think we'll be close to 70 next Saturday. Mostly sunny, uh, it looks like. And it looks like we may be uh, beyond that continuing to be warm. There may be some unsettled weather, but it'll be warm, unsettled weather. No snow will probably be more, more like thunderstorm potential weather. Um, so going forward after that. Uh, did want to show you how you can find the video. Like I said, the link is below. Um, it's on my YouTube page, but it's also on my website. So if you haven't gone to the website yet, you should. It's been completely redesigned. There's some neat stuff there if you're into some weather geek stuff. Um, this is, uh, there's my homepage here. And then if you click on weather videos, it's the next page and it's right up at the top there. I want a big thanks to Atmospherium, uh, a friend of mine who uh, makes, uh, creates a lot of music and uh, who uh, wrote the song Mists here that's in the video. Uh, just one more time, the reminder, let me figure out where I am. Uh, uh, this month, we're helping to raise money for the Neighbors Pantry in London, Dairy, Vermont. You can visit my website, like I just said, or you can support me as a patron. Uh, visit the link below. Uh, in order to do that. Uh, and uh, if you support me, I appreciate that. And um, all the money we raise this month will go to the neighbor's pantry. All right. I uh, hope you're having, uh, you're staying healthy. Hope you're uh, warming up a little bit after the snow this morning. And I hope you continue to be well. And we'll see you again tomorrow night for our forecast for the May monthly forecast challenge.